So apparently, I'm not the only one who's received the mouse pad from Void Interactive anymore. Sad face. You guys are probably freaking laughing at me. <laughs> so those of you that don't know or maybe don't remember, if you were one of the first 1,000 people to buy into the supporter edition, yeah, that $120 supporter edition, you would receive a supporter edition mouse pad. The reason I'm bringing this up is because there has been reports of people receiving their mouse pads, which actually aligns with the supporter edition update that we got through our emails that said this. We are manufacturing the limited edition mouse pads. We're able to ship these in July, one month before the alpha is opened up to you. Those who are eligible for the mouse pads will receive an email once these have been shipped. I unfortunately got the supporter edition just after the mouse pads sold out, which really sucks because those supporter edition mouse pads look legit. Like they look very nice. I've seen quite a few pics and it doesn't seem like it deviates from their design, which makes mine unique. <laughs> oh, I still got them. But I really like the supporter edition one though. Well, now that I've covered that, let's talk about the ins and the outs of the alpha. Keys. When will you get your keys? The keys will be sent out when the Ready or Not Alpha goes live. As soon as the key is received, you will be able to download and begin playing the alpha through Steam. If I remember correctly, the Steam key is supposed to come through your email. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's through the email with Exola. That's how you say that. If you were someone that bought into the supporter edition, you will have access to the alpha that's supposed to be slated to come out in August, which would be this upcoming month. Although when in August, they haven't exactly stated that yet as of this video. According to Void Interactive's Twitter, the alpha is going to go until one week before the beta. Of course, there are going to be times when the alpha goes down so that they can cycle content or update the build. Those of you that are wondering when the beta is, the beta isn't until June of 2020. So this is going to be a really long alpha. During the time that the alpha is going on, you'll still be able to purchase or upgrade to the supporter edition so that you can have access to the alpha. The only caveat is that the alpha will require you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. You will only be able to show gameplay if you have special permission from the developers which to be honest i think that only influencers will be able to get that permission but i'm not entirely sure i could be wrong don't take my word for it to be honest i think the whole idea of having an nda on an alpha of this magnitude is kind of dumb not to be mean but there's just a lot of people that are going to be in this alpha it's not going to be only influencers who have access to this alpha but i feel like the only ones that are going to be held accountable are the influencers themselves i don't think that the influencers are going to be the ones to leak the alpha but i'm pretty sure with all the people that are in there it's gonna happen so this is why i kind of don't see the point in the nda but you know it's whatever i didn't make the rules now let's talk about what's actually going to be in the alpha according to the developers expect bugs i mean that's a given with an alpha right they say that the alpha is going to be a gimp version of the game what do i mean by gimped i mean that some mechanics aren't going to be in the game to give an example according to easy street in the discord he says that speech recognition is not going to be in the alpha neither are ai teammates those are just some of the things that aren't going to be included so if you notice that there's a bunch of mechanics that are missing that were talked about in previous updates or dev blogs it's because they're still working on them but since the alpha is going to be very long there is a possibility that they could add it in later on down the line i find it very interesting that easy street said that there won't be any ai teammates in the beginning because if i remember correctly and correct me if i'm wrong back when the podcast with black side and donut operator came out i believe the developers had said that the alpha would have at least two multiplayer maps at one i think it was either co-op or single player mission that podcast was a while ago so so I'm sure it was subject to change. Thinking back on it now, I don't think they were actually sincere with what they had said back then, but I think Easy Street kind of clears it up right here with what he said in the Discord. He says, initially it's only multiplayer, probably more down the line they'll add, you know, single player, single player co-op. The fear is that if people play the single player, they'll only play it once and say, cool game, and won't play it again until there's more content, which isn't too helpful when you're trying to find a bunch of bugs. Ideally, they want the people to be playing the alpha over and over again, collecting tons of cash logs and bug reports so that they can, you know, squish them so that's basically the point of this alpha is to collect as much bugs and you know things that are not working or glitchy or game breaky that's literally the point of this alpha which is pretty standard you know what i want to know how many maps are we going to have access to are those maps going to be gimped as well how many characters are we going to be able to use what weapons will be available what gear will be available will we get a notice before the servers go down for updates how many game modes are going to be featured in the alpha will rival confess his love for easy street all these questions and no fucking answers well i hope that i informed you on what to expect from the upcoming alpha in august i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye